As of today, I've been doing YouTube for a year and a half, and I absolutely love it. I love that I can get on a microphone and record whatever thoughts I have, post it to the internet, and hopefully have somebody listen to what I have to say, enjoy my content in a way. I love social media in general. The idea that you can literally be somewhere in the world and meet somebody from across the world just by looking at your screen. You can find new artists, new entrepreneurs, new friends, new people. And when I first started this journey of making content, I was publishing videos every day, sometimes twice a day, sometimes three times a day just trying so hard to get into the algorithm. I would go into YouTube studio and just literally just sit there and watch my analytics. And they probably didn't even move for days and I would just sit there watching the analytics, watching who watched certain videos, which videos did better than others, which videos got likes, which videos got dislikes? Why did they get dislikes? Why did it get likes? Who was commenting on what videos? And I did that for a year and a half. Just wallowing in these numbers, in these data analytics. And not only with YouTube, but when it came to Instagram and when it came to TikTok, I realized I literally lost myself. Like me as a person, I lost myself. I stopped going out. I stopped doing fun things. And all I did was stay in the house and create content. And I realized that is exactly what YouTube wants their people to do. If you don't know, for you to get monetized, you need to have 1,000 followers and 4,000 watch hours. And so for anyone to achieve that, you need to pump out hella content so you could potentially get caught into this algorithm, be pushed, get the viewership and the subscribers you need to get monetized. And YouTube knows that with this criteria, people are going to do anything and everything they can to get monetized, to get partnered with them. And so that caused people making hundreds and thousands of videos. It's a competition. Not only are you fighting with the small content creators that is yourself, but you're also competing against big content creators. You know, not only are you trying to be put into the algorithm, but you're also trying to find your audience and you're also trying to find your sound and you're trying to find who you are and your niche and, and what you want your channel to be. And it gets exhausting and it gets exhausting. And this company knows that in the age we're in, people are willing to make that sacrifice of losing their friends, losing their life in a way to get big on the internet and that's dangerous and it first started off with me i would sit there and sketch out what videos do i want to do and i would find my my mind wandering into places that i wouldn't normally wander into what can i say for shock value what can i provide that no one else has provided what can I do that somebody else hasn't done? How can I make this topic better? I was thinking about things that a normal human being should not think about. And I know you're probably wondering, why shouldn't you think about that stuff? It's because I realized I was putting every ounce of fiber of my being into this channel, into this podcast, into creating a name for myself. And I had to truly sit down with myself and ask, when you die, what do you want to be known for? What do you want people to say about you when it comes to the eulogy? And so many people 
are so proud of dying being the best CEO they were, being the best worker, being the best athlete. You know what I mean? We die our occupations. We die our passions. But we don't ever die ourselves. And I started to think, what if the internet just literally just disappeared tomorrow? Every single thing that was ever published, put up, documented, just gone. And all we were left with were textbooks and books essays and novels and short stories but nothing that we ever created on the internet existed ever again i said how would i feel if all that hard work i put in this year and a half just disappeared the followers disappeared the likes the comments all of it just gone would you feel good about yourself would you be okay And I had to be real. I had to be real with myself. And I said, no, I would not be okay because I put in all this work. I put in all this effort, blood, sweat, and literal tears to create what I've created. And so if it was wiped away from me, I wouldn't be okay. And so then I thought, well, let's say if the internet was wiped off and it disappeared. Okay, well, I'll still put my thoughts into a book. I could share how I feel in a book. And then I thought, okay, well, what if paper disappeared? Well, then I'll pick up a paintbrush and I'll paint. And I, then I kept doing this. Well, okay, then what if the paint disappeared? And what if art materials was gone? What would you do then? I kept sizing it down to the point of, okay, what are you going to do when you're in the room alone and you don't have all those alternative things to look for? I think when we get in our minds, it's so, okay, well, if I can't be an entrepreneur, then I'll be a manager. If I can't be a manager, then I'll be an employee. If I can't be an employee, then I'll be a self-contractor it's always finding the alternatives of still being the best but in a different realm and it's like no like imagine if everything you've ever worked towards disappeared would you be okay with sitting with inside yourself And knowing that you lost everything. And that's how YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and Twitter makes its money. Because they know that us as humans can't just sit with ourselves. They know that once we get onto these platforms, we cannot dissociate. This morning I woke up. I immediately went to Instagram and I sat there and I scrolled through videos for two hours before I even did anything for my day. And was it two hours worth of educational videos? No, it was of people doing dances. It was of of dogs. It was of kids playing. But not one video in that two hour span brought me any type of substance, but it took two hours out of my day. Because I'm addicted to it. For some reason, my mind just automatically wants to pick up the phone and get on one of these four apps and just dissociate from the world. The same people that are creating these platforms, that are creating the devices you use to talk on, to search on the World Wide Web, before they even create these pieces of technology, they know themselves the damage it can cause to one's brain. If you notice, some of the people that are creating the phones that you hold in your pocket today don't even own the same phone they created. 
some of those people that created the technology that you hold and watch today don't even let their kids indulge in the inventions they created. We're like moths to a flame when it comes to technology, when it comes to these platforms, when it comes to attention. And so that's how corporations like YouTube, like TikTok, like Instagram can hold us and capture us and slave us within their algorithms because they know everybody is fighting to be seen. Everyone is fighting to be at the top. I don't know about you, but I know when I first ever even discovered what YouTube was, I searched up who was the biggest YouTuber. How many followers did it have? And it was like 20 something million at the time. And I remember sitting there at my computer, looking at the information and being like, I'm going to be better than that. I haven't even made a video at this time. I haven't even thought of a YouTube channel name. I just looked at that number in the name of that person and said, I'm going to be better than that. You go on to TikTok, it's easy for you to get a million subscribers. It's easy for you for someone to have 8.6 million followers because it's an app that you're just constantly swiping. So it's like, okay, follow like. And that gets addicting seeing that number rise and rise and rise and rise. The reason I'm making this video is because you, we as a society need to realize that is a possibility. That all the work that we've ever created, that we ever put out. And I'm not just talking about in the internet world, but I'm talking about in real life whether that's business, entrepreneurship, being freelancers, you have to realize that it is a possibility that everything you've ever worked for can just disappear. It can just be wiped away. And so it's important that you know who you are. And it's important that you know what will and what wouldn't affect you. If this ever could hypothetically happen, these algorithms, these social media platforms are dangerous. We see it day after day after day again, people physically putting themselves in harm for a like, for a view, to go viral. People literally putting themselves in the hospital So somebody can comment under their video and say, yo, that was cool. These platforms have literally killed people. Now, I know you're sitting there thinking, well, those people are dumb. They should know. They should have enough common sense to not do the things that will harm them for a video. They should know not to put themselves in harm's way. And you're right. We should have that common sense. Everyone on this planet should have that common sense. But we've seen scenario after scenario that we don't have that common sense. And if you're not a content creator and if you're not a person that is trying to make a platform for yourself or go that alternative route of being a creative, then you don't understand. Like for me, I'm a very logical person. But I've also caught myself thinking, how can I exploit myself to get views? What do I have to say to get somebody to look at me, to watch me, to subscribe to me? And these companies know that. And then what bothers me is that when we meet the criterias of being monetized, then it also comes with this list of things of... Well, now that you are a partner with YouTube or now that you are a partner with so-and-so corporation, you can no longer do this. You can no longer cuss. You can no longer be controversial. Talk about certain subjects. If you are caught, 
talking about these scenarios, topics, or exploiting these opinions, you will be demonetized. You will be flagged. You will be X, Y, and Z. And so now you have these creators becoming depressed because they work their asses off to get to a point where they can live off of their content. And then now it's like, fuck, now I can't even make the content I want to make because it's going to break the rules or it's, or it's going to get me striked or it's going to get me age restricted or it's going to get me flagged. So now the content creators are rebranding themselves because how do I make my content PG or E for everyone? Because that's not what my audience wants. That's not what I built my audience off. And even though we are fighting to be monetized, YouTube still makes money off of our videos even though we're not monetized. They don't care about us as content creators. And not just YouTube, but the other platforms as well. They don't care about us. We're putting out free content and they still get paid off of it. And we don't get a dime And while not getting a dime, we are putting our mental health in the gutter to try to get monetized. Like, I don't think you understand how many times a creator, an artist, will go in a lifetime contemplating if they are enough, contemplating if their work is good. If they need to do better, if they need to put down the mic and walk away, we go through this mind space at least 30 times a day, questioning everything about ourselves. And you know how sick that is that you look at yourself in the mirror and constantly wonder. Am I doing the right thing? Am I saying the right things? Is the content good? What do I have to do to change it? You have to be a different level of crazy to put yourself through that pain and still wake up the next day and say, I'm going to make content. I'm going to keep going. Even though you're going through this mental hailstorm of, am I even good enough? And even through all that yelling through and, and through all that noise, you still find a voice that says, keep going. That's a different level of crazy. And these corporations know that. They know we are willing to be out here in this world, tearing us down mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally to get a like, to get a plaque, to get some type of notoriety That we are worth it. And they monetize off of that pain. They monetize off of that drive. That we create. That we go through. And so I ask you. If you are an entrepreneur. If you're a creator. An artist of any type of sort. If all of this was taken away from you. Tomorrow. And you had no more content. You had no place to say your voice, to speak your mind, to be creative. How would you feel? Would you be okay? And if you sit there and have the exact same answer as I did and say no. And that you'd be depressed. Wonder to yourself. Why am I so invested in this career or in this project or in these videos I create every day? Why is it that if this was taken away from me, I would lose myself as a person? Like I said earlier, I don't want to be remembered 
for the businesswoman I am, for the creative or artist I am. When I die, I want to be known as being kind. I want to be known as the person that would give the shirt off their back, that would feed you, that would love you, that would uplift you. Don't talk about my career. Don't talk about how great I was at making deals. Did I make you smile? Did I make you feel good about yourself? Because at the end of the day, when I was figuring out all the alternative career paths I would go down, if this one right here was taken away from me, I realized at the end of the day that didn't matter. What mattered was is that in the entirety of my life, I could find something alternative to do of what I was doing. But I never wanted to lose my kindness. I never wanted to lose my heart. I never wanted to lose my personality. I could change a career. I could change my education path. I could change where I was going. But I could never change my heart. And until you understand that, you will never get to a point in your life where you are able to put down everything you love or you think is your passion, or you think is your goal, and truly choose yourself.